Welcome to the girls and on today's show we have something not only for girls but for guys. That's right, we're going to talk about guys clothing today, Janine. Our special guest with us today is a gentleman's clothier. Her name is Mary Teresa Chandra and she's direct from New York City. She does have some ties to our area, being born in Pittston, but she's been traveling all over the world, bringing the best fabrics and all the best advice and everything to men in the area. And welcome, Mary Tree. So we're so excited to have you on the girls. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's a, a pleasure to be here. You uh, come to us often. You're no stranger to me. I do uh, know you personally from some of the things that you do. And for people watching, you're saying, OK, guys, clothes. What does that have to do with a girl? You're going to find all that out today. But first of all, what is a gentleman's clothier? People may be asking, what is that? Mm -hmm. What do you do? What I uh, exactly do, Debbie um, and Janine, is I work with the gentlemen uh, by appointment basis only and uh, take care of their wardrobes for them. OK, by taking care of their wardrobes, what do you mean? You, you um, alter them or you help. what is it that you do tell us specifically what you do. exactly what I do is um, to backtrack is that I do meet with my clients uh, specifically by appointment in their homes or offices and what I do is I um, do a little uh, wardrobe evaluation some ideas of what's in their wardrobe I do a little lifestyle evaluation of them and then we work together in enhancing what's in the wardrobe for he himself and his lifestyle. And we have asked people what they wanted to see on this season of The Girls Light and Lively, and you told me especially that you wanted to hear about some men issues, and we're thinking, well, what about men's clothing? And that deals with women too, because we know that behind every well-dressed man is a very smart, fashionable woman, right? Right. Exactly. And sometimes so, the guys get dressed, and you look at them and go, what were you? Thinking. I was telling her <laughs> before we started the show that I actually saw a gentleman who has a very good profession. He had on a white shirt with blue pinstripes. He had on black or gray pants with black pinstripes with brown socks and brown shoes. And I thought, holy moly. And what mm -hmm. color belt? I didn't even look because oh, wow. I was staring so uh -oh. much. <laughs> I oh, want him to get offended, no, no. but I'm thinking. So we're going to talk later. Do you mix browns with blues? Do you mix black with blues? What what should you mix together later in the show if you're interested on what you should wear and sh what you really should wear? All right. Wear? So now if someone is interested in your service of what you'd like to do, where do they begin? What do they do? They give you a call and make an appointment and then you said yes. you even go to their homes. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. We schedule an appointment that's convenient uh, for my client because um, what I do is all about my client. It's not about me. It's all about my client and uh, we make an appointment and uh, usually we do that by them calling me or I work exclusively by referral so if my clients refer me to a gentleman I call them up and introduce myself to them and tell them what I'm about and if they are interested in my services and clothing. Okay so mm -hmm. you have clients who are maybe construction workers all the way up to senators or I things do. of that nature? I do. I have a varieties of gentlemen. Most of my clients are uh, entrepreneurial gentlemen, uh, presidents, CEOs, investment bankers, attorneys. But yet I have some gentlemen who are own construction companies. So they don't dress every day, but they have another life. They right. have a social life. Well, everybody has another life. I mean, look exactly. at you know, from jeans, you could wear um, casual dress. Do you find that men have a hard time if they're in a suit all the time that they're a businessman? When, it has, when they have to switch to casual, do they have that hard time making a transition? Because I see that. They do. They have a very difficult time because they're very used to that shirt, tie, with the suit. It's easy for them. It's like a uniform. Exactly. It's a total uniform for them. But that goes both ways because if someone uh, is, works in uh, work shoes and steel tip boots yes. and shorts right. and plaid shirts mm -hmm. every day and they have to dress up they think oh my god mm -hmm. just give me anything and put it together so it's mm -hmm. it works both ways so if you does. dress up it's your uniform if you're used to dressing up all the time mm -hmm. it's hard to dress down and if it you is. dress down all the time it's kind of hard to dress up exactly so exactly but so every, I work every with man both. needs a suit Absolutely. No matter what kind of work they do, they do exactly. need at least one good one suit. suit. And you do custom tailored suits. So how do you go about doing that? Are they measured precisely? Yes. 
what we do is um, we meet with the client and after getting an idea of you know his uh, event that he's going to or just in, in general everyday wear um, then I'll suggest some cloths to him. I work with beautiful cloths all from Italy and England and then um, once we decide on some suitings I do all my own measuring. Mm -hmm. I make a pattern and then I give it to my tailors or my companies and then they make my clothing for me. And then we style it uniquely to the gentleman and that's where all that comes in because anybody could wear a navy blue suit but it's what we do with the navy blue suit that sets that gentleman apart from the others. And it's great because if you, you're six one or you're five one or you're heavy or you're short or exactly. you, you know, have short legs or a long torso, you can fit them appropriately. Custom is absolutely the best way to go, especially custom shirts. My gentlemen who have never done custom shirts, we start out slowly for those that need to wet their feet, but once they get adjusted to you know, wearing the custom shirt, it's totally a point of no return. Well, not everybody, as you said, is an off-the-rack guy. Mm -hmm. And even sometimes when they buy a suit off-the-rack, there are so many alterations that are done. But it, there is a great difference in the fabric as well because if a man does wear his suit daily mm -hmm. and it has to be dry cleaned, there's a puckering that happens sometimes to some mm -hmm. of the less expensive fabrics. Exactly. So if they invest in a good suit, what I've seen with my own husband is that that suit will last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. It really does. It does. And the way that they're custom tailored, do you allow if a man says, well, gee, I'm going to invest in a suit, what about my weight? Is there an allowance there, there for is. if they go up and down in their weight? There's absolutely an allowance in through the waist of the trousers, the hip area, the length we can do whatever, in through the, the girth or the belly area of the gentleman. You know, um, anything can be altered for him, mm -hmm, whether he gains or loses weight. Well, I think it's great because we're going to talk about color is, I didn't know this before we talked, before we went on air, but the color really makes uh, a difference if you're going for a black suit, a brown suit, um, and different custom things that we're going to talk about today, right? And how to jazz it up. So stay with us when we come back on The Girls. Welcome back to the girls. If you're just joining us, today's show is all about men's clothing. Our special guest is Mary Teresa Chandra, and she is a gentleman's clothier. And when we went out to break, we were promising that when we came back, we would have you show us some things about the men's suits and some tips to, for the men of what we can do. Yes, um, what we have here is a, is a very beautiful uh, navy pinstripe suit. Classic. Very, very classic, very traditional. So um, I chose um, this tie, which has a uh, little bit more of a royal navy with some gold and red. So it is classic, but it still has a little style and design to it. Now, what kind of tie is this that's different from a tie that we would buy, say, in a department store? Well, this tie is exclusively made with fabrics from uh, England. It's silk that we pick the swatch, and then we make it into the exact length specifically for the gentleman and his height and the exact width. So some gentlemen like very narrow ties, some like mediocre ties, and some still like the wider tie. And it all isn't that dependent also on their built? Because some yes. men are very tall, so it's very hard for a man who's very tall to, to get just the right length tie, exactly. isn't it? After they tie it up in whatever, which exactly. I don't know how to tie a tie, unfortunately, my husband yes. does his own. But once they make that knot and you see the little, uh, little space between, where is a tie actually supposed to fall on a man? A tie should actually come right to the top of his belt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when they sit down, it can be a little bit longer, but when yes. it comes right to the top of the belt. But they shouldn't tuck it in, because some people do that. They tuck <laughs> in, the, in, in, the, in the belt. Exactly. That's so it no, should no. come to the top of the belt, and uh, depending on you know, what type of a knot he likes. You know, you have some gentlemen that wear very narrow collars, you know, with no tie space, so they're wearing a very small knot. In addition, you have some gentlemen that like to wear a very wide knot with a very, uh, you know, uh, interesting um, widespread collars, like a cutaway collar or a medium spread. So then he ties a very thick knot and he has like a little dimple in the middle of the tie. Oh, so that all goes back to my, my friends as the style for the gentleman. And that's what this is all about. You know. Now, when you look at doing the ties and, and how they should pick what suit is good for them, mm -hmm. where do you start? Do they, do you say, what, do you have a preference or this is something that should be built around 
what their profession is? Yes, definitely their profession and then their lifestyle as well. So depending upon, you know, if he is the construction worker that does not wear suits every day and he needs more for social events mm -hmm. or his traveling, as opposed to the gentleman who does wear, such as your husband Sam, he wears a suit every day, so they're different. So I get a little bit of an idea from the gentleman of what he's doing, and then I'll make suggestions with the cloths. Now, do you make pajama suits? Because I know my dad would probably sleep in one if he could. <laughs> well, we well, didn't get to that point yet, Janine. <laughs> but <laughs> Sam well, never dressed knows. one for Sam LaSant Sr. <laughs> Sam is very comfortable being dressed up, and I always tease people that he sleeps in a tuxedo because yes. Sam does not mind. He'll go home and we'll sit down to have dinner and he still has his tie on and I'll yes. say, why don't you take the tie off and relax? But he's very comfortable like yes. that. So that's another thing with being comfortable in a suit. If a guy is going to buy just one suit, what color would you recommend? Is there like a, a one universal? Is it the navy blue, you think? Well, you can do a navy blue. However, a charcoal is just as lovely as a navy blue. Either one, I would start out with something like that. And then depending upon what he's using the suit for, Right. So if he's never using that suit for business, I would probably lean more towards charcoal because I feel that for the man. Mm -hmm. And then the tie is actually, I always think of it as almost like a necklace for a guy, how we change up it our is. outfits. And so with this beautiful tie, a silk tie, what is the difference between, as I said before, you did answer the question that it's silk and it's made, and then what are some of the other little features about a custom made tie? Um, fabric wise and what are some of the details on it that are okay. great features? Well this tie as we says the fabric does come from England and mm -hmm. it's specifically for this certain gentleman um, mm -hmm. as opposed to if he's shorter or taller etc. But these ties um, have slip stitches that go from the tail of the tie which is the bottom of the tie here mm -hmm. and the slip stitch goes all the way down to the bottom of the tie which allows the tie to naturally go back to its shape after the gentleman has worn it. So it could breathe. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now we, we know as women there are always fads and things to look out for fashion. For men the same thing. We were talking earlier about Regis when it was the matching tie and the matching yes. um, uh, the shirt, the monochromatic the, look. Yeah, the monochromatic look. So is right now is that something you know you don't necessarily have to match everything specifically exactly you could have some fun have a scarf or a exactly. handkerchief that is red or a different mm -hmm. pop of color exactly it all goes back to what we were talking about before Janine is about the style for the gentleman you know because you can have 10 gentlemen wearing a navy blue suit but it's all about his style and he and that's how I work with them in, in, in conjunction with developing a style for who he is. So just because something may be, you know, popular doesn't mean that it's good for everybody or in, in fashion, quote say, simply for women as well. It's about your style. Like you have a different style than Janine does as opposed to me. So it, the style is an expression of who you are. I know that women have so many different styles and, and looks to choose from, but with guys, they're more, um, they don't have as many choices. So I guess the accessories really do express for they them do. as well too. They do. And uh, do you find any trends right now that are really different that have sort of relaxed men's dress a little bit? They're not as, as strict with suiting and ties and whatever as, as it used to be? Yes. yes. No tie Fridays, right? No tie Friday. What yes. does that mean? What is casual Friday? Casual let's, Friday. Let's find out what casual my, Friday is. My <laughs> men get really confused about the casual Friday. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so what are they supposed to wear on casual Well, Friday? actually casual Friday can be anywhere from a very casual trouser like uh, a khaki or beautiful jeans um, or a fabric uh, as, you know, that would be an in-between type of a fabric like a microfiber or some type of fabric that may have a little pattern on it. Right. Okay. You know? And you also do custom jeans as well, right? Absolutely, for men. yes, which is gaining ever popularity because a lot of men are wearing a very, very high end mm -hmm. jean with a nice unconstructed sport coat and an open collared Love shirt. That. A very expensive shoe, a fabulous belt. Love you know, it. really, really very nice. And again it goes back to his style. You know, you can have, you know, a suit like this happens to be what I call a suit suit. It is a business suit. So I would not recommend wearing this suit 
with an open collared shirt. Mm -hmm. However, you will see men do that. But there are specific fabrics that can be made into suits that are considered transitional. And also with those custom made shirts, you do French cuffs. Yes. So if you have a French cuff, it takes it to a whole new level then, doesn't it? Because exactly. then they get to wear their jewelry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And French cuffs are no longer just for a suit. They're fabulous with a gorgeous jean and a nice jacket. You know, it just dresses you up. And it's all about, you know, the style of, of the gentleman. Exactly. Guys, we need to give you some personality. Exactly. Well, stay with us because when we come back, we're going to find out some do's and don'ts. And how do you put that pocket square in that little slit on your suit? If you're watching the girls here on Local Channel 13, or if you're watching us online at SSP TV and anywhere else in the world, today we're learning all about men's clothing with Mary Teresa Chandra, gentlemen's clothier. We have been learning a lot of great things, and mm -hmm. you're going to get some tips right now. I have what's called a pocket square in my hand. Now you'll see these. Maybe men have them. Maybe they came with their ties. Sometimes they get a little set. They don't know what to do with them, how to wear them, how to fold them. What do you do with this? Mm -hmm. It's not a magic trick. Tell you yes. that much. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Show us the magic. What, how do we fold this? What do we do with it? Pocket squares are fun, they're exciting, and they just add pop to your suit is Flair. what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, it just adds to the gentleman's style, as Janine says, his personality again. Right. So we have, you know, a basic, beautiful navy blue suit with a very traditional you know, classic tie with a little style, mm -hmm. but I have a beautiful red pocket square here that Debbie has, and I would highly recommend to pay attention out there, men. We have our Remember, pocket this square. Remember, the show for you. We promised okay. a show for the men. Step so. one. Step we have one. a Listen. great pocket square, and I chose this in a red design to complement the tie. So it doesn't have to match. Correct. You I can match, think. but that's easy. But the I like that the pattern is at least similar. Yes. You said patterns don't have to match, but I like that at least there's some yes. consistency in the pattern. Yes. So what I would do with this pocket square is I would use this in conjunction with this coordinate because it accents. And I would take the pocket square. There's several things you can do with this, but I would take it by the center and just kind of poof it and then neatly tuck it. Easy enough. In here. Tuck it in. And then just kind of play around with it a little bit. So what it's actually doing is it's adding color. Right. And now, it's complementing. Well, you won't want to do red socks with this, right? <laughs> well, depending <laughs> upon the gentleman. <laughs> Just asking, because I did see a guy with brown, black, and blue all in one time. So we don't want to assume. Yes. So what, what are we doing with this? Would you I have to wear navy, navy, do you wear navy socks and navy shoes with the navy blue suit? Well, actually, you can do several things with the socks. Okay. You know, socks can be solid colors. They can be in designs. Navy would be appropriate because you're wearing navy. However, some men like fancy socks. And I do know of this gentleman in New York City, and he only wears red socks. It's oh, his I didn't know so that. signature. He it always for him. wears red socks with whatever he's, he's doing. So that's his signature. Mm -hmm. So should your shoes match your suit? Your shoes, like your shoe color, should they match the color of your suit? They should complement. Okay. Most so if they don't have navy blue, can they wear black? Exactly. Okay. Most, most men would gravitate towards a black shoe with mm -hmm. this, which is absolutely fine. Again, it's now, easy. Black socks with that. It's safe. Uh, you can do the black fancy socks, or you can actually do some blue with some navy in the sock as well, okay. and sometimes charcoal to kind of pull it all together. Okay. Okay, so yeah. there are a lot of choices, and that's what mm -hmm. makes everybody so unique. But mm -hmm. what kind of a shoe? They're not going to wear, will they wear a loafer with this? Absolutely not. Uh, not with the dress suit. You know, uh, there are some rules, but rules can be made to be broken. But if you're really dressed up in a suit, I would highly recommend uh, a nice tie shoe. A nice tie in shoe. In a black. You know, actually, a gorgeous gray shoe would be phenomenal with this, you know, or there are other colors that you can do, depending upon the tie and if he chose to wear a pocket square. And how about the shirt? What color shirt would they wear with all of this? Well, actually, you know, a white shirt is no shirt. very nice, <laughs> very easy, very safe. Relax Friday, no exactly. shirt. Exactly. <laughs> I'm <only> kidding. <laughs> 
Okay. I would recommend with this a very pale sky blue shirt, Ooh. which would pick up the blue in the stripe Ooh. and the blue here as well. I probably have a nice light blue shirt in here just to give oh, you, you have all these beautiful an samples. idea. Look I have some some gorgeous oh samples. And this is why we need you or you need her to come in and really work with your style, work with your what fabric you want, work with your profession. If you're looking for something that is, you said, um, one suit that you're wearing just to have a basic suit or then to get fancy with all these other things. Exactly. Guys. And there are no set of rules because each person is different. Completely so different. So look at all the different fabrics. You have all these different combinations. Yes. There's so much you can do. And so you could take that one suit and make so many different outfits with it with look the different how beautiful color. that light blue sure. compliments oh that's beautiful you know white's very nice you know and the white but when you look at the light blue look what that does to that mm -hmm. suit wow. and a light blue shirt is just as easy to take and put on and coordinates as a white shirt okay now how about we didn't talk about a belt i've always heard that the belt has to match the shoes the leathers should match is that still holding true to this day. Yes. How for about the, suspenders? Yes, for the most part, or? we like to match the belts with the shoes, definitely. Right. And how about suspenders or braces, as and they call them? Suspenders or braces, obviously mm -hmm. they're, you know, um, very stylish as well. They can complement, um, although they're usually hidden unless you take off your suit coat, uh, but they would complement as well, similar to a pocket square. You know, you could do those in a variety of colors as opposed to your solids. And again, you don't want the Urkel look. You want them pretty much <laughs> to your belly button, right? Fit. Exactly. I've seen people wear, especially um, some well-known celebrities, I've seen them wear a gorgeous suit, custom-made suit, with a T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yes, depending upon the event, absolutely. And in that case, I would choose a cloth that would be very uh, social, mm -hmm. very transitional, that he can wear additionally, maybe with a very you know, high-end silk or uh, Pima cotton uh, t-shirt, an open collared shirt. And I have a question for you. What is the little hole on the lapel, that little slit that's there? What is that yes, there for? This okay. is this is actually for well for two for two little details. This is actually more for aesthetic and mm. style reasons. Uh, but if you wanted to use this as a boutonniere, there's a, a little piece that you, you would the tailor would tailor in the back. It's called a stem holder, oh. and he would put that in the back, and then you can put your boutonniere. Isn't that cool? I there. know a doctor in particular mm -hmm. from our area who's particular. Um, I guess his his trademark was a he wears a fresh flower on his lapel oh, every day and I don't lovely. think Dr. Greco you're gonna mind me saying your oh, name because lovely. everybody knows who you are he wears the the fresh flower I have oh, a quick nice. question about the jeans for the people out there who are maybe they're not into suits but they are into the jeans and oh what if you're a guy why do I need to get custom custom-made jeans oh well custom-made jeans are all about a fit mm -hmm. number one and the selection of cloths I have jeans that range from black charcoals, silver grays, all color blues, sky oh, blues, awesome. in addition to whites, reds, royals, navies. And do they have all the holes in them? Um, these do not, <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the fabric is pre-washed and very soft to the touch. You so see some of these jeans now, you buy them and they grow throughout the day or they're, they, they have that spandex in them or they have the skinny jeans are in now or the... I call them the butt crack jeans where they're, oh, they're so low that, yes. you know, so you really should get a good, even yes. if you get one pair of jeans, it's, I know we're running out of time, but it's something that I know should have there's never enough time when you're shopping and we didn't even get into True. talking about all the custom made shirts. All of these samples are gorgeous for Those all the shirts. Actually, uh, these are for coats. some of the sport coats and Fabulous. you may not need a suit, but a sport coat's great. All the different combinations, any questions you have about clothing, getting it made. Uh, all of your questions, you could contact Mary Teresa yep. directly by what you see on the screen. You could go to our uh, site at ssptv.com. Watch us all the time because you never know where we're going to be, who we're going to have. We're going to help you with all of your questions. And girls, I hope your guys are well dressed. Hope you learned something today. We had fun. We're going to continue our talk here with Mary Teresa. We'll see you next time on The Girls.